Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the grace, mercy of, and the love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, glory, honor, dominion, and worship are due to together with him and the life giver and consubstantial Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. As you all know, we are here because of the latest bombings in Alexandria. We are mourning the loss of lives, not only in Egypt due to terrorist attacks, but also in Australia due to the un unpredictable forces of nature in Queensland. So although the two circumstances are different and are separated by 22,000 kilometres, the under theme is still the same, loss. We are here not only mourning the loss of lives, but we are also protesting the lack of human rights in Egypt. I would now like to hand over the microphone to our first guest speaker, Senator Conchetta Fibaranti Wells, Senator for New South Wales, and the representative on behalf of the Honourable Mr. Tony Abbott. Can I, uh, on behalf of uh, Tony Abbott, the Federal Leader of the Opposition, and it's my great pleasure to be here with you today in support and as we mourn after these tragic events in Alexandria. Firstly, from, on behalf of Tony Abbott, he writes, on behalf of the Coalition, I condemn the bombing of the Saints Church in Alexandria and extend my sympathies to the families of the dead and injured. The targeting of a New Year's Mass represents an escalation in violence that is deeply concerning. The Coptic community will be looking to the President and his government to prevent any further attacks on Egypt's Christian minority. Yours, Tony Abbott. is the representative of Premier, Mr. Miss Christina Keneally. Ladies and gentlemen, please make him feel welcome. The Honourable Mr. Greg Dinelli, MLC. Thank you very much, sir. Can I acknowledge the work done by ACM? And fellow citizens of New South Wales who are joining us in their lunch break in Martin Place. Innocent people who were doing nothing but, nothing but practising their faith and practising their love of their God. And it is completely unacceptable, completely unacceptable, and to be condemned in the strongest possible terms, the violent killing, the violent killing of these innocent Coptic Christians, not just in the most recent tragedy on New Year's Eve that's just passed, but in previous acts, not just over the course of last year, but over the past number of years. We stand by you, shoulder to shoulder. I undertake, as a member of the Labor Party, to write to the Australian Prime Minister, reporting to her my attendance at this peaceful, and I stress peaceful, gathering today, and ask her to speak out forthrightly to condemn those actions against a peaceful people. Thank you very much, Mr Donnelly. Those were very kind words, and on behalf of ACM and the Church, we accept the Labor Party's condolences, and we thank you so much for coming out in support of us. Thank you. The Honourable Mr Craig Kelly. He's the Federal Member for Hughes. In this time of mourning for the cops, that you have also shown that you are truly Australians first. And you've also taken this time 
to pay our respects for the people that have been tragically killed in the, our floods in Queensland. I thank you. As a federal member of the Liberal Party of Australia, I condemn these attacks in the strongest terms against the cops in Egypt. And I call on all my federal parliamentary colleagues from both sides of the political fence to do so without any further delay. I would now like to introduce our next speaker, a man who has stood by us time and time again, and he is once again with us, ladies and gentlemen, the Honourable and Very Reverend Mr Fred Nile. to all those attacks on Coptic Christians in Egypt. They must stop as from today. No more, we say no more attacks on the Coptic Christians. I also support the call of the organisers that we ask today for the Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, to recall the Australian Egyptian ambassador from Cairo back to Sydney for that ambassador to give a report on the persecution of Coptic Christians and for our government to convey to that ambassador our anger over what is happening and for that ambassador to return to Egypt and to give that report directly to the President of Egypt, the President of Ireland. I would now like to introduce our next guest speaker. He has also stood by us on many occasions, and he is the Honourable Mr. David Clark, MLC, Parliamentary Secretary to the Shadow Attorney General. Thank you. And friends, we're all here today, Coptic Australians, all Australians, to say that we will not be intimidated by Islamist extremists either here or anywhere else. Australians who've given their lives for religious liberty and for freedom and democracy, because that's precisely what we're here for today, for religious liberty and freedom and democracy. The Egyptian government needs to bring about an end to discrimination against cops, needs to bring about an end to this uh, legal prejudice against cops. The US State Department has said that the position is getting worse. It's getting worse in Egypt. They're saying that the, uh, the Egyptian government allows an environment for these terrorists to fester and to continue. The whole world knows. And what, what does the Egyptian government do? Well, when Pope Benedict spoke out against these killings, what did the Egyptian government do? It withdrew its ambassador from the Vatican. It said to the Pope, if this is none of your business, well, it's all of our business. It's all of our business. We will not be intimidated into silence by the Islamic extremists and the Islamic thugs and the Islamic terrorists who get their orders from Osama bin Laden. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to wrap up this series of speeches by delivering my own. And I would also like to make some demands on behalf of ACM to the Egyptian government. The Egyptian government will have you believe that this was the work of external forces, seeking to destabilise Egypt and to pit Christians against Muslims. We as ACM strongly disagree. And if that wasn't enough, more incidents occurred. As the Reverend Fred Nile pointed out, just two weeks after the Alexandria bombings, an off-duty police officer boarded a train from Summer Lort in Upper Egypt to Cairo. He searched the train for anyone who was Christian and he identified them by the crosses on their wrists. 
he managed to identify six in total, and he fired at all six. I am deeply saddened that I am once again standing here and protesting against yet another atrocity. I hope that this will be the last time. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance. We truly appreciate your time and your support.